Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and today we are going to use Oracle 12C Data Visualizer Desktop Client In today's presentation I have taken sales data which is an Excel and I will be using the sales data to present different type of data visualization So I will show you basic data visualization and I also show you how to use a dual access chart so this is the first basic visualization we'll talk about which where I'm using combo data visualization method so you see there's one a bar chart the combination of bar chart and line chart and one of one of your major is sales and another major is operating expense so I like to figure out wherever my operating expense is more than my sales for the respective country it's time to shut down our business operation right so wherever your operating expense is much more than, than the sales. We need to shut down our business operation. This is exactly what we like to know. Well, this is a fictitious data, so don't worry about the volume or data. I just I've taken this data just for the sake of demonstration. The second part of our presentation, I'm going to use a dual access chart. So we have operating expense is one access and shipping cost is another access. And I'm trying to visualize this. Dual access chart makes sense when you use two majors where there is no direct relationship. Probably use employee salary and employee age. If you plot them employee salary and employee age in same same scale, data visualization may not be meaningful. Maybe salary is in your six digits, it's in hundred thousands, and your age is between twenty to maybe sixty. And therefore, when you compare hundred thousand twenty sixty, your age line chart will display in the bottom and actually it lost the purpose of data visualization in such scenarios it makes sense to do a dual access chart so let's get started I'll first show you how my data is look like this simple data you can access the data directly from my site you can download this the sales order processing data so we have one dimension called a region country and city and then we have one dimension called product product line, family category name, we have time dimension, manufacturing unit, store detail, sales, operating cost, shipping cost, that's it. So in first example I try to keep my data simple. So let's get started. First I'm going to start my Oracle Data Visualizer desktop 12C and it takes few seconds when it loads it first time. Okay, so you find probably the same screen which you see in my system. First time I'm going to load data source, right? So you would have seen a previous example as well for Tableau and ClickView. The step remains same. I need to use my data source. In this example, I'm going to use Excel. So desktop client supports CSV and XLS X, a latest version of Oracle, latest version of Excel, Microsoft Excel. It doesn't support XLS. So probably if you have data for XLS, you need to turn it to CSV file. This is exactly what I did. So you click on data source. These are the data sources you have. And you like to create new data source or create new project. If you want to create new data source, you can click on this. But I would be starting, I prefer to start with new project. So I click on new project and name it. And for this project, which data you like to use, you have option to use existing data source alternatively you can inherit or pull data from other sources as well so you have file and data connection in this example we use CSV file click on file and point to your data source this is my order detail CSV file and when you pull it it try to visualize your data if you look at this you have a column header and a represents your text by default data visualizer takes the property from Excel so wherever it written, reads the text, it mark it as a text. Sometimes it fails to mark it correctly. For example, in our case, all good. This is your sales, which is hash, represent this is major or facts, operating cost, shipping cost. The time is displayed as a, as a text. But I want to change this data type from text to time. So click on this and change your data type from text to time. And one more thing I like to do it over here, date is also considered as a text. I'll convert as a time. So actually I'm casting it explicitly date. 
So now I can use date and time function as well because I convert them into respect to data type. You see the first section is first tab is your prepare, second tab is your visualize and narrate. Right? So let's move to visualize because there's nothing much I need to do in my data source now. It's, it seems pretty good. So I can go to visualize tab and click on this data element. There I can see various dimension and facts. Probably need to refresh it one sec. So I skip to add data source. Uh, there is an option called click on data source. Select your data source. I already picked it. Order detail CSV file and now I can see order detail CSV file. I just skip to click on add. So this is your source file. You prepare and now you're ready to go for data visualization. So you can go to data element and default view is cross tabular view which you call pivot and in my example I like to evaluate my sales and operating costs across different countries. So I drag and drop country, uh, drag and drop country so you see the default view consists of your rows, column and the intersection rows and columns is your major. It's like cross tabular view or you call pivot. Okay. And probably if you see in my other videos, the tabular and click view, you find quite similarity. The object of data visualizer from Oracle is to compete with tabular and click view. And in my subsequent session, I'll give you one to one comparison and we'll talk about how close, how successful Oracle data visualizer is able to compete tabular and click view which are highly specialized in data visualization. Well, so we have got countries over here and like to drag and drop sales and operating expense, right? But when you look at sales and operating expense over here, I mean, using numbers, it's little difficult with the human eyes to compare. And therefore, I prefer to change this view from pivot to combo view. There's an option called combo. Probably you find it a little surprising. There are a lot of new data types and data visualization this time Oracle has to offer to you compared to your previous version of Oracle OBA which was limited to the conventional data visualization tool. We'll talk about them in greater detail subsequently. Let's use it combo chart for now. Combo view which could be combination and rows and your bar and line. Well so this is combo view. I'm using a single axis. So in the same axis you can see operating expense and sales. Well, I like to convert my operating expense as bar. Right click on this and convert as a bar. So this is operating expense as a bar and sales as a sales. Right? You can probably go and change your properties. So I like to see my line more curve view. So I right click and go to property and change my line type as straight to curve. You in turn have option to display as a step and segment as well. I love to use curve view in this example and look at the major. You can turn on and off data view and you can also specify data view of a specific type. So default aggregation is sum and number are, these are currency actually. So I display currencies and default currency is USD. You can change it to any other currency up to you. And sales also like to display the currency. Both of them are currency and default aggregation is sum. So number format, currency, and currency USD. If you find the numbers are overlapping, it makes sense to uh, disable your view. And uh, probably when you create a dashboard, you need to plug in your this view along with the other data visualization component. So you can change it from the canvas type fixed to freedom. And therefore, you can place them where you like to place them. So depends upon the volume of data you have, probably when you put them together into multiple view, the data visualization purpose is lost. So make sure you have big enough so that people can read it, right? It should be important that people should be able to read and figure out some interesting meaning. So when I look at this bar chart, this combo chart, it gave me a clear information about it, right? Whichever country, my operating expense is much more, which is bar chart blue color compared to my sales. It's time to close down our business operation. So I find it's pretty interesting, except Brazil, for most of the countries, my operating expenses are much more than my sales. 
Wow, so I need to close my business operation to other areas. Well, this is interesting. Let's extend this example and add another canvas. So you find it pretty similar, same as Tableau. We can add multiple worksheet. They call it canvas over here. If they try to imitate or try to bring uh, close to as Tableau look like for the people who like to migrate from Tableau to Oracle space. So I can click another canvas over here. And this time I'm going to create a dual access chart. And I try to use two majors which probably related or may not be related. But in this example, they are related. But still, I'm going to use a uh, dual access chart. So let's continue use country. I use country as a major and sales as my major and my shipping cost as major. And default view, I change it from beaver to combo. And um, I like to use 12 access chart. Okay. So shipping cost and sales. Sorry, shipping cost and operating cost. These are two major like to use it. And I want to display shipping cost and operating cost in a different access. So you can right click on this. There's another major called Y2. This is, it is considered Y1 and Y2. I convert my shipping cost to Y2. So you see shipping cost appears over here. You cost shipping cost number one because I did some casting. So maybe in subsequent example, I show you how to perform cast. And I like to display one of my major, probably shipping cost, as bar chart. So shipping cost is a bar chart. And the operating expense is a line chart. This is also interesting view. In this example, we use dual access chart. Go to that property again. You like to turn off and on your major, change formatting, and all you can do it. First, I use line chart at line chart as curve, and I like to display numbers. I like to display numbers for my line chart, which is operating expense. Turn on data canvas. Okay, and change the convert uh, data type values. It is automatic. You can turn on and off. Give a custom label as well. So shipping cost number looks little complicated you can change shipping cost number to shipping cost right give a meaningful view so I give a custom heading more meaningful to the business users then in turn you can change your uh, major currencies number format turn it as a currency and for shipping cost as well currency well so nice you have two data visualization you have first data visualization, operating costs versus sales. Both of them display in one major. Another data visualization with operating expenses versus shipping costs. Both of them appears in two different axes. And I use a combo chart. In subsequent session, I show you how to create a dashboard. We'll combine different views into one common dashboard. So that's it for today. For all the training and consulting requirement, you can reach out to us. And thanks for watching today's video. Have a good day.